Hello guys, I am just a random fun girl and welcome back to my channel. This time we will be checking out episode number 6 of season 1 of Beastars, um, Blurred Vision, Dream or Reality? And so far, so good. This show has been amazing. I have loved every... Well, no. Not every character, but I understand that every character has something deep to them. They have their own personality and their own agendas, their own problems. And it all fits into this world amazingly. Like, they're, they have all their own motivations so it doesn't feel like the plot is moving them forward but that their dreams their hopes their fears it's moving them forward so that's awesome i love good characterization and yeah so i love all of our main characters our main cast uh, Ruiz, Legoshi, Hal. I also love Legoshi's friends because they are great. And yeah, so basically, basically, I I am I am in love. I just want everyone to be okay and happy. And I know that that will probably not happen because you know we need story. But still, um, I really know. I don't know what to expect. Of this, um, of this episode, I mean, last time um, we were dealing with the consequences of the play, and uh, oh yeah, we got to see, or I don't remember if that was in last episode or I don't know. Uh, well. Hal's relationship with Ruiz. I don't know if we should call it a relationship. And also, um, Hal and Legoshi are getting along better, which is, you know, always nice. They are both pretty nervous and pretty in their own world. But, you know, that's just how things are sometimes. So, yeah. I just hope that they can find a way to be friendly toward another in the meantime, I mean, while they're getting to know each other. Because, yeah. I'm loving it. That, that's all I wanted to say. I am loving it. So, I really want to know what will happen in this episode. I really have no idea. Maybe we'll see something about the play. Maybe we'll get a lot, a little bit more of development in Hal's and Legoshi's relationship. Um, maybe it will be about something else entirely. I don't know, but I am excited. So, if you're watching this on YouTube, this is going to be a highlighted reaction. But if you want to catch the full length, uncut, unedited reaction, I am going to leave you my Patreon account in the description box down below, and feel free to check it out. We are a bunch of episodes ahead there, and yeah. Anyways, I think that's all I had to say, so let's just jump into the reaction. Okay. I hate that. Oh, baby! I love him! <laughs> I will always be on his side. These assholes. <laughs> oh! <laughs> My smart boy! <laughs> half brothers! Half brothers! Or she's adopted, I don't even know. Oh. 
Oh, baby girl. Apparently so. It sucks, but that's just how the work how the world works. Because they're afraid and because they want to take <sighs> baby. Yeah, you need to speak up, a little bit at least. Hmm. I like that Legoshi is slowly having more people that he can rely on. Hmm. Yeah, it's complicated. I mean... That's an awful thing for to happen, like <laughs> Well uh, it was kind of your fault. Oh that's a lot. Ah oh, well, you know, pandemics, but we because of the pandemic had been inside like for two years, but still. My baby, he doesn't have toxic masculinity. What's that? That's awful. That is an awful world. Of course, he would be interested. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you have different morale. Oh, baby. It is. It sucks, but it is. Because it's your nature, it's not your fault. It's just something that you can't control. You were born like this. You're different. To try. But you try, that's what's important. You try. What? Yeah. Oh God. Yeah, it's complicated. It's his nature. I was thinking so. Oh, God. 
I hope that no one finds that, but oh god, I know you do. But it's more difficult because it's in your nature. No, baby, you need to think about it. I, I know that you want to, but that's not healthy for you or for Hal. Really? That's gonna make him feel better. And it's gonna be difficult, difficult to say at the least. But I really do hope that they that they, that they get what they need. <sighs> this was a great episode. So we got I don't want to say breakthrough, because I don't think it's a breakthrough, but we got to see a lot more about Legoshi and how he feels, and that's great because, like I said a million times before, I really, really love him. I just want to protect him from everything and everyone, and and I know that it's really hard because what can you do when something is in your nature? It just is not easy. It's like, I think that the, that the most... Um, relatable thing that I have experienced is with uh, meat. Like, we need the meat to survive as humans. We need to eat fish and chicken and pork and a lot of other stuffs, not, 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 not only vegetables. So, you need it because of the things that they provide your body. But then you watch a video of a cow being happy and running and, you know, and you just, like, think, how can I eat that? Or you look at a baby chicken and you're like, but I eat those. And it's just sickening. So imagine if you actually knew what you were what you wanted to eat because we as humans want to eat meat because it's in our DNA it's just natural to us because we need it so when people became vegetarians or vegans and I'm not talking about experience because I am not I eat meat a lot of meat but when people became vegetarians I don't think that it's easy for them because they are repressing urges, they are repressing nature, to say it like that. I'm, I'm not saying that it's unnatural, I'm just saying that we want to eat meat, because it's just in our DNA. 
So I can only imagine what Legoshi and all of the carnivores are going through. Because you have the carnivores that just think that sure, um, it's bad, but it's our nature. It's what we are going to end up doing, and this is how the world works, so I am just gonna give to my urges. And then there are other carnivores, like Legoshi and the eagle of this episode, that they are like, yeah, I want to, but at the same time, I hate that I want to. I hate that I am weak, I hate that I am like this, because I have friends that are herbivores, that are prey. And yeah, that has to suck. I, I can, like I said, I can only imagine how that feels like. So it's really complicated for them. Carnivores have it bad in this world. Like, okay, yeah, preys also have it bad, but, but they have it bad, like, in different things. No one is happy. That's what I'm saying. No one is happy. So at the beginning of the episode, we got a lot, another murderer. And yeah, this sucks for carnivores because it just sucks for them. And Legoshi meet um you know. He's she's also a grey wolf and she was getting bullied and oh, my poor baby girl. She's also on the drama club art club. I don't remember how it is called, but yeah, she's in the same club and I like that there are now other people who can rely on Legoshi. Legoshi can rely on them, at least little by little, that he's making more acquaintances that are going through the same things that he is. This girl is just... Uh, everyone, everyone is not happy. So, yeah. They're in the same club, and I hope that they get along. I do hope that they get to be friends. Ah, oh, she's a junior. I really like her. I hope that we get to see more about her. And then we got some, um, like, class excursion to the black market. <coughs> and, like, this is so messed up that someone has to sell their body and sure you can say okay it's kind of the same as when people sell their kidneys or sell their organs or hair or eyes because they need money and still it's messed up that they have to sell their own body like that just to survive, this guy is doing that, but in a much, much more grotesque, dark way. He's selling his fingers. Oh god, this just... This was so, so freaking dark. That's what I'm saying when I say that this is like Zootopia, but real and dark. Because it is for children. This is just so freaking dark. And my poor boy has to face his instincts and his thoughts. And he has to come with the realization that he is a carnivore. And that he has to live with it. So he finds... Well, actually, a panda found him. He's a psychiatrist, psychotherapist, something like it. And he's trying to help Legoshi to overcome his denial and, you know, help him. Which I appreciate and I really like the panda. I hope that we get to see him again sometime. But Legoshi is not ready to come to the realization that... Yeah, he's just not ready. And I know that he wants to be good and that he is trying to repress so much and I love him for that but you also need to be aware of yourself in order to improve so yeah I hope that by the end of this season Legoshi can 
come to terms of who he is. And then he can do better. And I mean, I'm not saying that he's doing bad because he's the best. He's the best boy. I love him with all of my heart. But yeah, now he's thinking about this and um, yeah, the assignment that I gave into him to do see what his feelings about the hell are actually about and then we got this and it's beautiful because now we know that Lagoshi is not the only one who wants to repress his nature in like we can say it like that repress his nature be better at that and that's that's great. That, that that that's that's great for Legoshi to know that he's not alone in this, and that he's not the only one struggling with it. So I really love this episode. I really really enjoy it. I I can't wait to see the next one. Like every time I watch an episode of this, I just want more and more and more and more and more because it's just so great. So yeah, um, I think that's all I had to say. I guess that we'll be seeing each other on the next reaction. Bye!